Hi everyone. We're back. We are so back. How is everybody? Wanna play chess? Play league. Um, why is medicine cheaper in Mexico? Good question. Ooh, Am my my girlfriend Amaranth is so. Uh, Live streaming. Love you, Amy. Mm. She's perfect in every way. I am not, unfortunately. <clears throat> Best graphics card? I don't know, whatever NVIDIA's latest latest thing is, right? Oh, uh, what's up Twitch people? Thanks for watching. Of course, YouTubers, what's up? We got Overkill to Overdrive, Cole, Green Jello, Put Me in Coach, Jay, Max, Chaz, Paul. Is that the Paul I know? Cryptopreneur, Aperture, Nicholas, Patrick from Germany, um, Malaji, Shells, and of course, <laughs> Kamark, wondering if I'm hiding Sam Bankman. Matt, what's up, dude? Yeah, the, the, the SBF, the video of SBF on that webcast was doctored. They just, um, yeah. What's up, Midfaker? What's up, Sadem3000? EBITDA, put me in coach, Dr. Pepes. Um, Crypto.com, I don't know what their situation is. Sounds like they might have um, sounds like crypto.com might have some problems, but I don't think they have the fraud problem that SBF has. I was hitting up SBF on Telegram, and he has not been um, online for um, nine hours, so that's probably when he got arrested. When you get arrested, you know, they don't let you um, use your phone, you know? And I don't think this guy would be really ever without his phone. He did not flee. Um, uh, I don't think he, uh, he has any money now, SBF. He's toast. He's um, basically under arrest right now. I don't think he's ever coming out of jail.
All right, so what's going on? Yeah, the jet is not his jet, and he was not on it. So he's in the Bahamas, and he's under arrest at the moment, so. Yeah, and the rumor is the um, uh, what is the rumor? The rumor is that um, Caroline Carolyn Ellison is on the run. Um, there's two pieces of evidence. As I mentioned, he's been off his phone for nine hours, which is very unusual. The second piece of evidence is uh, it's being reported by a number of folks in the media. I think he was dishonest from the start. Yeah, the accidental... Uh, Gigantic transfer from crypto is a very bizarre thing to do. It's cool for somebody to run such a, a big um, uh, Twitter spaces. I think that was cool. Oh, man. To have a job again. I'm an entrepreneur. I like Latina MILFs. Yeah, I'd say so. I've never done a rug pull. I don't know what uh, you're talking about, Andy. And I would sue you if I knew your name, but you have to hide behind an anonymous name. I pay back my entire restitution, actually. Thanks for asking. Yeah, I think the Carolyn chick, um, was a big red flag, obviously. What is my net worth? None of your business. I should still be in prison, though. Why? I got sentenced. I did my time. Why don't I reply to Discord messages? I do reply to them. I just don't reply to stupid ones. Yeah, I do need a chiropractor. Um, I'm replying to YouTube messages. What's up, Sawa? Yeah, I've been giving uh, my take on FTX for days now. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Uh, when you get out of prison, you have a lot of. I did make spreads in jail all day. Yeah, most hated man in America. Not me anymore, thank God. He's the most hated man in the Bahamas, too. And right, I'm playing a little Rust. Um, Rust is an interesting little video game. I gotta stop playing video games, to be honest. It's really not good for my um, well-being. Um, but I don't know, I just kinda, I like it. Um, Uh, I, I get the sense that you guys don't even want to see me play video games. Like, you don't really care. Um, am I right? Or, or do you do you want to see the game? When has Martin been wrong? I've been wrong a lot. Why would I bet you $1,000 on, on chess? I'm not a very good chess player. That seems like a 
really bad bet for me. And I don't know how good of a chess player you are, so it's an extremely bad bet for me. Um, I try not to make uh, bad bets. I don't want to play for free either. I'm playing a video game. I'm not, I'm not going to even play my, my friends in chess, let alone uh, a stranger. Yeah, I hope they don't um, ban crypto or do something like that. Um, thinking, I don't, I'm not going to go out tonight, but I have like 5% chance that some really bad baddies invite me out. Maybe I'll go. Of course I play Roblox. Yeah, let me turn off the rust volume. Sorry about that, guys. Shit, audio down. Um, they'd have to be pretty bad. I'm living in New York City. You live in the ghetto. You live in like Alabama or something. Fucking bumblefuck nowhere. New York City is the greatest city in the history of civilization. Get that through your fucking head. Civilization. No, I don't watch UFC. I am playing Rust with speakers. Is that why I get killed all the time? Yeah, chat is super fast, I agree. It's very sus. Am I, are you mad that you lost a lot of time? I didn't lose any time. What are you talking about? Will Meta exist in five years? Of course. Meta's, Meta's at an all-time high user number. <laughs> Think that through. Meta's like the best stock in the world. Like risk-reward-wise for a large-cap stock, it's fucking nuts. But, yeah, you just have to be patient. You have to wait years to get your return. You know, it may take a while. Some people don't like stocks like that. I maybe I'll put some of my investment theory into writing, but like part of arbitrage is that there has to be negative arbitrage for there to be positive arbitrage. What I mean by that is for everything you can arbitrage or make money on uh, by using rational thought, there has to be somebody else that or some market condition where there's irrational thought. And so you can't blame an arbitrage for not closing. You can't blame an arbitrage for going against you even further. Um, you could blame yourself for not timing it perfectly, which again is a skill in some arbitrages one can do and some one can't predict when that arbitrage will begin to close or go your way or whatever. Because I think there's the, arbitra the negative arbitrage that, that occurred was unpredictable by, by its nature it's a rare thing for there to be arbitrage. Therefore, it was unpredictable. And therefore, you know, things like overreactions and just how much of an overreaction or underreaction, whatever, might occur is not something you can put your finger on too easily. Um, so the people who are like really, really good at market psychology, I, I, and like most people, they're, they're good at what they do, or like most people who are good at what they do, you know, I, I envy them. Uh, but I think the bigger secret of arbitrage is not so much the timing as much as the security of feeling that you know you know you think that arbitrage is real. Now, arbitrages can start real and then change to the point where they're 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 not. Um, and you have to be sort of vigilant, um, and that's probably one of the biggest risks of these long-term arbs is that it starts off as a cheap stock and then business doesn't do so great, and now all of a sudden the stock's kind of fairly valued and 
you have to be pretty vigilant about um, all that. But you know, I think it, uh, Meta is one of these you know uh, in, interesting opportunities. The interesting thing though about Meta is you're not going to um, at best you're going to kind of double your money. You know, uh, it might even be just a fifty percent move. But to me, a really secure fifty percent move is great because cost of capital is very low, right? You can borrow money, um, you can use options, you can do all kinds of things to make sure that whatever trade you have or your planned or whatever um, works. So really the most important thing is that you're gonna be right eventually and that you're not taking a, a gigantic risk. And with Meta, you're not really taking much of a risk. I mean, it's six times earnings or some shit. So um, I really, really like Meta, but um, Again, it's not for everybody. If you are the kind of person who will give up on a stock if it's not moving up after a year or something like that, then it's not for you. You know, it's probably, I mean, I don't know, but it, it could be a dog for years to come. You know, it's just not, to me, like I said, it's, it's not predictable. We don't know what management will do. We don't know what the economy will do. We don't know what so many of these things, unpredictable things that are out of our control that contributes to the stochasticity. It probably contributes to the arbitrage opportunity too. Um, but again, I, I, at some point, maybe I'll write a book about investing or who knows. Um, Molly? Uh, Molly? Are you talking about Molly White? Or are you talking about that? Oh, Molly the... Yeah, I don't know if I like Molly. I know some things about Molly that you don't know. I'll share with you privately. She's a ni nice girl, I guess. I don't know. Cool. Whatever, I'll leave it at that. Anyways. Oh shit. Gunshots. Um, that's not good. Where is this motherfucker? I have a bow and arrow. Look at this dude. Definitely don't have a gun. In a, I'm on a very competitive Rust server. I'm not in my Rust server. In a Rust server, that's difficult to win. I keep dying. I barely can maintain a base. So, slowly trying to get a gun, but it's. I got one briefly, and the guy just wiped me out and took the gun too. Rust is a crazy game. Do you want to see the game? I think a lot of you guys don't care about the game. Um, every time I stream games, my audience drops dramatically. Um, I'm really going to comment on some of these questions. What did I... Fuck. Oh, shit. Shit, he's shooting me. Fuck. Oh, I'm dead. This motherfucker. I don't know if USDT will um, DPEG. I am working on some new businesses, yeah. The Wu-Tang album is um, complex, and who owns it? I have a digital copy of it, I'll say that. I think PleaserDAO is the owner of the disc, but to me it's uh, sort of silly to own a disc um, when the, there's, not co there's copies of the disc available. Hey guys. Oh, they just shot me. Should be at UFC competing, I agree. Oh, here's what I want to show you guys. I'm gonna be taking a drug called Nucala. I'm doing due diligence on GSK, so I've decided to try this drug. It's called Mepolizumab. Um, uh, this is a pre-filled auto-injector. It's subcutaneous. Uh, it's made by GSK. 
We're going to give it a trot. I'm going to be streaming myself trying all kinds of new drugs. So I hope you uh, enjoy watching this because, you know, I'm trying to study um, different medicines. So Nucala um, is an IL-5 uh, receptor inhibitor or an IL-5 inhibitor, excuse me. So Nucala binds soluble IL-5. Um, IL-5 is interleukin-5. It's a, it's a cytokine. Um, let's give it a shot. So literally. So here it is, Nucala. Injection. And we're going to be um, taking this bad boy. And I have lots of other medicines I'm going to be taking and showing you how they work and this bad boy up. If I can figure out how to do that, we're going to be in good shape. This was not made for, for children. <laughs> I don't know. God damn it. Cut, cut, cut. Cut. All right. I'm going to have to figure out how to open this thing. Maybe I'll use a butcher knife or something and then then I'll cut my finger off and then I'll really need some medicine. Okay, here we go. This is Nucala, N-U-C-A-L-A. It's from GSK, GlaxoSmithKline. It is a IL-5 inhibitor. IL-5 is a cytokine that, uh, well, we'll talk about the mechanism of action momentarily, but my understanding is when IL-5 binds to its IL-5 receptor, it causes sort of like a eosinophilic response. This is like one of those really like annoying, you know, sponsored by GSK. Yeah, if I get become pregnant after taking this, that'll be something else. Men get pregnant too, you know. Uh, you can pregnant people. You guys can identify as a man and still anatomically get pregnant. All right. So this thing is impossible to open. I would say, which is really, really frustrating. Um, you know what? I think there might be. Ooh, there might be a smarter way to open this than I've been trying. <gasps> I feel so dumb. There's a plastic. Cover, you just pull off the plastic and now here it is. All right, so that was easy. <laughs> and we have, um, this was prescribed to me by the way. This isn't some crazy experiment, I'm kidding around. This is for nasal polyposis, eosinophilic asthma, things like that. Okay. So what are we going to do? Wash your hands with soap and water. I'm going to skip that part. Clean your injection site by wiping your skin with an alcohol swab and allowing air, skin to air dry. I'm also going to skip that part. Um, I'm, a, I'm an expert. Um, okay. All right, take it out. I should have read this because it says peel off the plastic cover. Meanwhile, I, I messed that up. All right, check the expiration date. I'm going to skip that part. Wait 30 minutes. What? Should be clear to pale yellow. OK, it looks clear to me. Um, You can inject in your thighs or your abdomen. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the thigh. Um, okay, or maybe maybe I'll do the abdomen. To leave at least two inches. Well, okay. 
Okay, step five. All right, remove the clear needle cap. All right. See a tiny needle. It's so small. I, I gave blood recently at the doctor's office. It was, uh, I was such a baby about it. And then I realized uh, I was being too much of a baby. All right, so we've got the needle. Um, is thigh less painful than, than abdomen? Abdomen's really not painful. Um, uh, shout out to Trashy, my, my kitty cat. She's watching right now. I love you, Trashy. All right. You may see a drop of medicine at the end. Oh, I did see a drop of medicine, but it, I think it fell. This is a really tiny needle. Um, start your injection. So hold it with the inspection window facing you. Okay. Place the uh, injector straight onto your injection site. I'm going to use my fat stomach here. Um, right here. Okay. Um, push the auto injector all the way down and keep the auto injector held down against your skin. This will make the yellow needle guard slide up into the auto injector. You should hear the first click to know that your injection has started. Uh, the yellow indicator will move down. Okay. Um, that's when the second click. Continue to hold down and count to five and then lift off. Okay. The problem with my stomach is I don't have any muscle. So <laughs> it's kind of a. Uh, I don't know, it's sort of like not the best place to inject. So I wonder if I should just do my thigh. Um, should I, you know, I'm really fat, uh, in case you guys don't know. Um, so let's see, maybe, yeah, it's like, I don't know, maybe I can, it makes, yeah, without the flab, you know, I don't, uh, yeah, I kind of feel like I want to inject it. You can also inject it in your, it says they, you need a caregiver to inject it into your uh, arms, so I have to do it in my stomach. Um, all right, I guess I can just have all this fat. I really need to lose weight. All right, you know what? I'll give it a shot. Here we go. Ready? Uh, may take up to 15 seconds. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, it's going, going, going. It's a little painful. It's not too bad. One, two, three, four, five. All right, that was really easy. Um, you know, you could feel a little sharp prick, but it really wasn't anything. It's a really tiny needle. It's uh, smaller than a um, smaller than a staple. You know, if you've ever gotten a staple in your skin, um, this is much, much, much smaller. And uh, for anyone that um, is afraid of needles. Some of these, it really depends on the gauge of the needle. This, this is a really, really small gauge needle. So a lot of these um, pharma auto injectors are, are really small gauge, so they don't take much. Um, they really don't have any pain. Um, there's no pain whatsoever. So really happy to um, finally be treated for this disease. I had. Um, I have this um, nasal polyposis I've had my whole life. Um, it comes from allergies and things like that. And so my, um, my uh, sinuses have these polyps that are large and in my, stuck in my, um, um, polyps are stuck in my um, nasal cavities, sinuses, and I've been suffering with this disease for 
I don't know, uh, 30 years. So I'm so happy that I finally got uh, treated. I saw a doctor a few days ago and he gave me this um, Yukawa. So I'm really excited to, you know, hopefully um, keep taking the medicine. Apparently the, um, yeah, so for anybody who doesn't know, these are auto injectors. So they're the patient's self-administered drug. That's like insulin or things like that. So I have to take this, I, I actually don't know exactly. I think it's once every six weeks or eight weeks or maybe even longer. Uh, let me see. I get headaches, I get nasal drip, I get hundreds of annoying side effects uh, from the nasal polyposis. I've been waiting my whole life to do this, but I didn't want to get a surgery. I was thinking about taking Dupixin as well. Um, so let me look, a new Cala dosing regimen. Um, every four weeks, okay. So that's, that's a short acting antibody, but um, the recommended dosage is 300. So that would be three shots Ugh. every four weeks. Kind of annoying. Sam Bankman, I mean, what can we say? He's, he's, uh, seems like he's under arrest and having a lot of issues. Um, I don't know what to say. Yeah, I mean, if you don't have to have the surgery, so for me, I was recommended the surgery probably about 20 years ago and I didn't go through with it. Um, the surgery was, um, sounded just very unpleasant and you know you ba they basically go into your nose they cut out they go into through your nose up your nose and they cut out the polyps which doesn't sound that bad right but the problem is after the surgery um they bleed uh for a long time so you have to pack your nose and your nose is packed with um some i don't know some kind of gauze or something, and you have to irrigate your nose from then on out. And there's a chance that they, um, there's all kinds of like issues where you could possibly be, they could perforate your nose or do stuff like that. And it's like, you know, it seems like it's a local disease. Like there's only one way to treat it, which is to go up there and cut it out. So when the drugs came out to treat it, I was shocked that, and, and yeah, that's right, uh, um, Atlanta Balder is exactly right. The polyps come back. So some people have three, four, five surgeries for this nasal polyposis. For me, it started when I was a teenager and I had a CAT scan and they're just gigantic um, polyps in my nose and they, they make it so that I can't breathe so great. They make it so that I can't, uh, I have this just ridiculous kind of symptoms and I've suffered with this thing my whole life. The drugs for um, this illness came out as soon as I uh, went into prison. So I never got the chance to take them when I was out of prison and I was just lucky to see a doctor. I actually asked for Dupixin. He said, Nucala data is pretty good. I also have some dermatitis here. So, um, you know, in any event, we'll see how this goes. And then if not, maybe I'll take uh, Dupixin. So um, I'm pretty excited. Yeah, I've talked a lot about the FTX situation. Polyp is definitely a weird word. Yeah, nasal steroids are, are the first, you know, first line treatment. I tried those, of course. Um, they didn't do much for me. Um, let me show you the game I'm playing, I guess. Yeah, I DM'd Sam Bankman, um, and I saw that he has not been online for nine hours, and the reports are that he's been arrested, so I think he was arrested nine hours ago. Um, he's with his father, who's an attorney. Um, I feel terrible. Um, well, I don't, I don't know if I feel terrible. Um, let me take a step back, because it sounds like Mr. Bankman did some really bad things. Um, but I would feel terrible for his family. I know what it's like. Um, has a big impact on the family. Um, so I'll say that. All right, 
don't know why I'm farming this this stuff because I'm probably just going to get killed. So let me focus on something else. I don't um, consort with prostitutes, nor do I ever consume cocaine. I've never uh, consumed cocaine, as a matter of fact, in my life. A lot of people try it. I'm not the kind of person people say, oh, you try anything once. I'm not that kind of guy. I don't try anything once. Oh, man. These, why are these people shooting me? I don't have anything. I have a rock. I have a rock. Uh, I didn't get to listen to Donda while I was in prison. Um, they don't have every album um, on the prison computer. I've actually never smoked weed. But I've been around so much weed, I kind of pretty good sense for what it does to you. It's not such a bad feeling, it's just not for me, you know. It, it makes you kind of lazy, I think. I don't really like drugs in general. When I say drugs, I mean illegal drugs. Medicine is different. That's different from drugs. Drugs are recreational. They make you high. Uh, the only drug I, I endorse is catnip. Cats enjoy catnip. I'm even wondering if I should quit alcohol, which is undoubtedly a drug and not good for you in any way, shape, or form. But there's so much social pressure to drink. Um, I don't know if weed has long-term side effects or not. I, I like this. This I mean, what's the point in killing a guy that has a rock? Trying to get a. Alcohol is bad for you for a number of reasons. It dehydrates you. It uh, there's a number of issues with alcohol, but it's obviously not that bad for you. Um, it's addictive. I mean, that's another issue. Um, you know, so that's certainly not. Why do I? Oh. So in this game, you if you die, you just end up on the beach. What is my biggest dream? I would say proving a math theorem that has been unproven for a long time and was thought to be very difficult. That would be a dream of mine. Um, a lot of people dream about money and stuff like that. Money's not hard to make. Um, things that are really hard to do, um, proving a, uh, a math theorem that nobody has been able to prove, that's pretty hard. I've never um, sold insulin in my life. <laughs> I think you're confusing me with some of the big pharma companies. You can play on my server. It's called uh, Shkreliville. Yeah, alcohol definitely fucks me up. I agree with you, Boomer. As I've gotten older, it's um, less enjoyable for sure. I'm not the most famous Albanian. Dua Lipa is uh, famous. P equals NP? I don't know about that. Um, but I think... You can't prove P equals NP, or P doesn't equal NP. Uh, I think you can prove that it's unprovable, or undecidable, as logicians would say. Money is not hard to make, I guess, for me. <laughs> um, maybe it's hard to make for, for you, but I could probably diagnose why it's hard to make for you. Um, for a lot of people, it's laziness. For a lot of people, it's um, they give up easily. For some people, it's other commitments they have in their life that, that supersede uh, making money. So if you're, if you're committed to making money, it's not hard. If you're committed to being a good father or, or husband or wife or whatever, then maybe it's going to be hard because you're, you're committed to taking care of your family um, by being there for them and having a lot of time for them. That's going to make making money very hard uh, quite often, I think. Um, uh, you need time to make money, patience. There's so many. Yeah, some people can do both. Some people can't. And some people, sure, they, they spend it on stupid things. So whatever it is, whatever you think making money is hard, it's because you're doing something that's making it hard. Now, if you were cognitively impaired or something like that, I, I you know, what can I tell you? I mean, it's it may not uh, be your 
may not be what's what's going to be best for you, but um, it'll, it's not going to work out. We'll just say that. But I don't know. What can you tell me? Um, knowledge in finance is not hard to get. I would say it's it's harder to um, apply it and remember the emotional parts of it um, because it's the, that's the hardest part about you know finance. I would say. I've never been involved with insulin ever. I don't think Twitter is going to be um, a financial failure. What's my biggest accomplishment? Hmm, that's a tough one. Um, I think being a good friend for my for my friends uh, who need me. Um, try to do that. Um, let's see. I don't think like business and stuff like that counts. I mean, of course, I've had some great business successes. But like that's not it. I'd say the patent we filed and one for the pecan drug that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, just different scientific experiments, bringing different medicines to market. A lot of that's been pretty pretty fun. Carrie Gensler, hopefully he's out soon. Yeah, uh, Monk.gg is definitely. Coming soon. Twitter use is at an all-time high. I don't think it's going to vanish. I think it's a vibrant, really vibrant system. All right, let's make some stuff here. Um, can I make any... Tools. I made those. Can I make any weapons? Okay, I'll make a spear, I guess. Um, and once I get the spear, I can make uh, a stone spear. Thanks. Nectar has always been a mess of a company. Hello, you already know who it is. What's up? Yeah, I think you're confused. Uh, you're confusing me with Eli Lilly. Eli Lilly made insulin, I, or makes insulin. I've never made insulin. Uh, insulin should not be free because it costs a huge amount of money to make. It's very hard to make insulin. Yeah, it's hard to engage with people who don't understand medicine. It's easy to sort of think about medicine uh, because we all have taken it. But if you don't understand the economics and business of medicine, you shouldn't be commenting about it. You really should go fuck yourself, actually. That's just my two cents. Bernie Sanders, listen, I'm from Brooklyn. I'm uh, about 600 years old. Uh, I really kind of like communism. I'm not gonna lie, uh, the USSR, they had something, they had something going for them. And yes, technically I'm Jewish, but I don't believe in Israel. I'm, I'm really a Palestine kind of guy. Figure that out. Bernie Sanders. Yeah, I, I, I am a millionaire, that's correct. Um. Uh, but I'm a very famous author, Bernie Sanders. I am not Jewish, actually, but I have a lot of respect and admiration for the Jewish people. Yeah, writing books would be very easy to 
way to make a small amount of money, but that's not my... That's not like writing. Writing a book is a lot of work. I'd rather do something more valuable. See somebody at the corner of my eye over there. Is Biden the most based president? Oh my God! It's Quest. What's up? Uh, yeah, Biden's gonna gonna slam crypto for the FTX situation. He's gonna take control, like a good strong president does. Biden's so based. Um, we need less government intervention. I think if any, anything Canada has taught us, that, that's uh, what Canada can teach us. Pepe. What a rare Pepe. Um, is that a plane of some kind? This is called Rust. Um, the internet is healing, I agree. Um, ooh, I need that. I need some clothes. This is very indecent. That's somebody's house. It sucks this game, I just keep getting killed. I'm in, I'm in a more competitive server. In my server, nobody kills me because I'm the boss. But in this server, it's a, a bit trickier. I never have enough time to accrue enough value, and I don't um, like to accrue good, good weapons or anything. And then I, I don't play with the headset, so I um, can never hear when somebody's coming to kill me. And then I die so fast, like, I just, you know, don't pay attention for half a second, or even if I am paying attention, I'm just dead. They're just like, doot, 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 dead. I'm like, okay, what did I do? Um, all right, ooh, wood armor pants and wood chest plate. Maybe that'll, that'll help this situation. I don't need that. All right, that's just oil. I have nothing, oil will not help me. Where am I? Where am I even going? I hear something. Oh, it's a helicopter of some kind. This isn't a game, this is real life. Caroline Ellison is the most beautiful woman in the world. They're saying she's out in Hong Kong right now, fleeing authorities. But Bankman's stuck in the Bahamas with, um, ooh, a bear. Bear's gonna eat me. Shit. I could not kill that bear with this, whatever this is. There's the helicopter. Bear can't climb up here, can he? something like clothing well, I need cloth or something like that can't even make a hunting bow still need cloth for that maybe I can kill the bear what do you guys think is he dead already should I throw the spear at him your horses Nope, that's that thing. Hey guys! Cool plane.
Oh. Well. Uh, yeah, they killed me. <laughs> I thought they were my friends. I thought you were my friends. Oh yeah, I'm, I got a house, so. I try to be nice to these people. I'm like, hey, what's up? They're like, yeah, time to die. What the fuck? I didn't do any working out in prison. Anarcho-capitalist utopia. Uh, SBF is gonna serve a lot of time. He's probably, he, he might get a life sentence. This is bad. This is like one of the biggest frauds of all time. I was treated really well in prison. And cap all day. Oh, they can charge him with a hundred things. They can charge him with securities fraud, wire fraud. Just right two two off the bat right there. A hundred counts each. Um somebody's spamming my Twitter chat. If a moderator could ban them or something like that. I'm this is a, a lot of spam. Uh, I did not have to join the AV, no. So I went to a really simple prison, uh, a low security prison. So at a penitentiary, you do you do have to do crazy things like that. AV is the Aryan Brotherhood. Um, so at the high stakes prisons like Ross Albrecht is at, there's gangs, there's violence, it's bad. Shit. Gunshots. You don't want to be in a penitentiary. AB is the Aryan Brotherhood, not the Albanian Brotherhood. Although there's plenty of Albanian things like that too. Um, who's shooting? Don't shoot me. I'm gonna make a play with Yoga. Absolutely. Let's go, motherfuckers. I got a one shot. Wants it with me. Oh, yeah, sweet. Eat that. Motherfucker has a like a automatic or machine gun or something. What's WEF? The World Economic Forum. There's nothing special goes on there, just a bunch of pretenders. Wannabes. Wannabeing. I mean, there's some important people that go there, but I mean, I don't, you know, a lot of it is just BS. You guys love conspiracy theories, but. All right, finally have something to wear, which will also serve as armor of some kind. But again, somebody's just going to kill me in this lobby for naught. Ooh, a jacket. Careful here. If there's anybody nearby, can easily shoot me or something like that. If I play my cards right and move really fast, I might be able to get to the harbor, do my thing, and get out of here alive. The other thing is you can have you can be a team on the server, so I need a teammate. Maybe one of you guys wants to come help me, who knows? I should never
ever take these stupid car parts. They're never worth anything in the recycler. a dinner. Oh, nice. Oh, it almost killed me too. Um. I didn't know these things, uh, deer even attack you. I thought they always run away. I don't have a hatchet or anything. I have no health. I'm really screwed. So if I get attacked again, I'm, I'm dead, basically. Maybe I'll make one of these. Oh, I, I really need to play Call of Duty. I bought it, but I haven't really even played it once. I played it for like two minutes. Also need to do some work. That's the more important thing. All right, let's see here. This, um, what else? These gears, definitely this. I store these. These are all kind of useful. A blade, not really useful, right? Quest, stop gloating, man. Oh, you're crazy, dude. What a jerk. Quest is gloating that crypto is disappearing rapidly. I, I mean, I'm bullish on the technology. I just don't know that, you know, there's uh, the value is really there. You know, and the idea that the, the, one, the two are one and the same is kind of preposterous. Uh, I will say the stable, you have to exclude the stable coins. Because stable coins are actual things. Like, um, those are real. It's kind of, those are kind of real. They're, they're kind of backed by a dollar, sort of. So it's USD coin and... Uh, Tether. So if you exclude those, Bitcoin is kind of fake. Um, Ethereum is kind of cool. So I like Ethereum. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's worth. Oh, shit. Should I kill that guy? Fuck. I should just run. I don't want to chance it. There are some suspicious stable coins, I agree. Um, we, that's why I'm kind of not endorsing them too crazy, because there's a chance that Tether or one of these other stables is maybe fake. <laughs> um, I don't think so, but you know, if, if that were to happen, it, it would really rock crypto's world. I mean, it would make the SBF shit look not that, or the FTX shit look not that bad. If Tether is fake, it's over. Um, a lot of people think it's it's got a problem too. Um, a lot of smart people. And there's no auditor, there's no, I mean there's an auditor, but nobody's ever heard of it. Um, so like there's a lot of red flags with Tether. Um, I don't know. I, I hope Tether's real. Tether's not real, like...
the thing about tether is if you short tether, you can you basically can't lose, right? Because if it's worth a dollar, the worst case scenario is it's worth a dollar. It can't go up, right? But if it goes down, you can make a fortune. I think it'd be fun to to withdraw, to buy all the tether, demand withdrawals, right? And then take the tether supply down. So that, that way you'd sort of find if they were doing anything funky. I mean, you can kind of cause a run on the tether bank, right? Theoretically, if you wanted to. Something Quest might do. Yeah, Bitcoin might go to zero. I don't think it's ever going to go to zero, zero. But it might go to like... It could go to like a thousand and never come back. I mean, I don't think it's ever going to go to zero. It's too culturally uh, relevant at this point. But you know, it could go to I don't know, a thousand or five hundred or something like that. And just stay stay at a low price, relatively low price from this price forever. I don't. I, I doubt it. It sort of seems like it's it's going to be here in one shape or another for a long time to come. Sorry I'm playing this video game. I'm kind of like addicted to it, I guess. Um, Kevin O'Leary doesn't seem to be a terribly good investor. The Sam Bankman's, that's not his plane. I think he just uses it sometimes. Um, it might be an FTX plane, but he's not on that plane, that's for sure. We know that. I DM'd him on Telegram, but he's not, um, he's not responding. He's been missing on Telegram for like nine or 10 hours. So I think he got arrested. All right, if I can make it home with all this stuff, I'd be so happy. I just need to make it home. I think I see my home, is that it? No. This is somebody else's home, or was. I think this might've been was, was this my home at one point? I think it was. And then I had to abandon it because somebody ransacked it or something. And now that's my home. Ooh, made it. All right. Let's see. Cook this, what is this, deer? A little fireplace. Uh, this in here. Oh, I need water too. Mudblood, are you helping me out or are you gonna come shoot me? Don't shoot me. Fragments and 50 scrap. I got that. Cool. Let me make that. Yes.
to start? Do I have to start from scratch? Salvaged hammer. Get some more resources real quick. And maybe I'll, um, not AFK, but um, sleep or whatever. Since it's becoming night in the game, do some work. Sam Bankman's voice really bothers me. I never knew how the guy kind of talked. And then when I, I heard him speak, I was really dismayed. Do I need metal fragments for that? Where are you? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I need a flashlight too. Hell yeah. No more stupid. Torches. All right. Now I need this thing. And then oh, I thought this thing was take off for now. Uh, I don't follow Eric Adams too closely. Don't know much about his politics. He's our mayor. Um, the devil in nerds clothes. How Sam Bankman Fried's cult of genius fooled everyone. Wow. Crypto insiders paint a picture of a charismatic tech founder who became the darling of high-powered investors, even, if, even as he was brazen about his cryptocurrencies exchange's shaky business model and kept the books closed to all but a few confidants.
Um, yeah, I think Dimitri, um, you make a good point. How do you feel knowing geometry is a sham? Interesting. I will think of geometry is a sham. All right. Um, the wall behind me. Oh, it's uh, my. That's actually the patent that uh, I won. Boomer. It's a plaque. Current passion. Good question. Ooh, let me check my texts. No babes. Those are my Nike mark Monarchs. That's all I uh, wear. Oh. I need uh, some like eye drops. I think you can evade um, the U.S. government for less than $450 million. Um, oh, why are there so many people watching? Thanks for um, watching. I didn't expect on a Saturday night that so many people would be watching. Thank you. Um, I don't know what to tell you. Um, let's see. Let me try to entertain you guys. We've got this Forbes article. It was a dictatorship, in a good way, a benevolent dictatorship. Effective altruism.
in the past week, FTX co-founder, CRO, and COO all deleted LinkedIn pages. on again, off again, romantic partner and coworker. Wow, what a liar. Unbelievable. Shall we try some Call of Duty? subscribing a room. Why do I 
have to restart this thing 50 times. When do I get to actually play? Uh, BioNTech results. Okay, 10-4. tell which is on, who's on my team and who's on their team. I like this map though. This map is, this map is fun.
Should I be doing that? That's probably what I need to jump. Can I go on the roof? Oh shit. I'm using the rust commands. E instead of F. This is spawn, sort of. Shotgun again. Friendly airwashing them in the area. We have secured the lead. We are losing Bravo. That will strike it inbound. Our UAV is in the area. The enemy is for Bravo. Secure Bravo. Online. 
Easy. Easy win. Who got the most kills? You know it was Screlly. You already know it was Screlly. 12 kills, 9 deaths. You already know. Player. Yeah, I'm pretty cool. Hey guys, what's up? It's Farmer Bro. Can you hear me? I'm the um, infamous um, guy. Oh, sweet. I do have a Discord server. I'll try this. Okay. Prisoner rescue. Press S. Oh, hello. Can you guys, can you guys hear me? Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Got you. Prisoner secure. Extraction standing by. I got you, Sam Bankman. I'm not gonna let you die, man! What the? Oh. Oh. Where am I supposed to take this guy? I don't like this game mode. I don't know. I don't really know, like, half the time who's on my team and who isn't. We gotta rescue the prisoner. What's your block? Burn, 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 burn. Fuck, bro. They got me. They got me, yo. Hello? Hey, it's Scrawly. Do you guys know who Martin Scrawly is? Shoot the prisoner. Oh, you got this thing. Just 
sit right here. Oh, 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 yeah. I'm gonna sit right here. Sit my ass right here. I'm gonna sit my ass right here. When they come through, I'm gonna blast them. It's Shkreli. Shkreli season. What's up? Oh, did you just... Oh, never mind. Ohio. Ohio. Oh, I see. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Again. The enemy is moving a prisoner. Stop them. Where? Last minute. don't understand how this game works. The enemy has taken a prisoner. 30 seconds left. Wait, where are they? Can you see the guy that ran to run you? We got a rescue SBF. We're in the Bahamas. This is FTX headquarters. Let's go. 10 4. Where's the bankman? Confirmed. Got his Adderall right here. Ah. Guys, grab Bankman. Extract him immediately. I'm 39. Hostile UAV in the area. Saving Private Bankman. Watching your six, soldier. Damn. Order, order. Where is all the missing crypto? There's $10 billion around here somewhere. I'm going to find it. He is not in Argentina, my friend. Nice. 
Three kills, four deaths. Didn't play my best. I didn't play my best. Uh, oh, good. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> Can you guys still see me? Hear me? Love me? It was good to meet Mark. Wow. Stimmies. Maybe we should play some chess. Call of Duty crashed on me. It's really annoying. Any Thanksgiving plans? I'm actually trying to go get permission to go to like California or something. idea here is sacrifice on h3. Okay. Um, the sack still works really well, except for Now it works better, I think. Oh. Okay. That's fine. Okay. 
think I should still take it. Um, not quite yet, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe not such a good move. I need a better plan. I don't really have one. Planning a chess is really hard. Get my rook pin or knight pin to the rook. There we go. Just as I suspected. I don't want to do that either. Huh. Actually, just move the rook. Okay. Okay, let's go. Um, you fucked up. Eighteen hundred again, great. Uh oh.
Facebook is a great company. Meta is what it's called now. Um, it's a really, really valuable company. I wouldn't sleep on it. Oh. Hello. Oh, man. So tired. So tired. Uh, Facebook has a, like all time high number of users. They're doing great. Don't forget they have WhatsApp and. Instagram. Unbelievable, right, Darth Blaze? Isn't that crazy? Okay. I think you're in trouble, mate. See here. Hmm. Wait, what happened? What just happened? Did I mess up? I think I messed up. Mm -hmm. Not even, I'm not really watching. Um, yeah. Yeah, I should do a call-in. I agree. It would be fun. This guy just did. The bishop. Okay. Oh, I should probably move my rook. Although I can mm, pretty close to checkmate. You're done now. I don't think there's any um, Democratic Party conspiracy theory. I think you guys are letting your imaginations run a little wild. Not just you, I mean, so many people are letting their imaginations run wild with that. It's so silly. The scandal is more than interesting enough without trying to cook up some nonsense political angle. The guy's a young California guy. Of course he's a Democrat. Um,
he's not the biggest donor, and these political um, people, they don't, uh, politicians, they don't get um, enamored by one doning cycle, donation cycle. Did Dustin Moskovitz take out his EA? I think he did. He said he was effective altruism, he took it out. That's funny. Oh man, I wish it could be more entertaining. Thank you everyone for watching. It's uh, really flattering. But I don't, uh, I don't know how to entertain you all. I've never met Mark Cuban in person. I did sit behind him at a Knicks game. I might relax and just like lie down. And I'm like unreasonably tired. It is 11.30. He, he was sitting with the team that he owns, so that's where I saw him. It'd be a little weird if he, I had better seats than him. Uh, I'm not gonna go through the dev tools. But yeah, I mean, I'd imagine that Twitter engineering is suffering a little bit. This is BioNTech, which principally is a, the COVID vaccine company. Uh, Moderna's revenue was really bad. Look at the sales and marketing expense. Amazing, right? Oh, we have other operating expenses. Okay. I like how they're already paying full taxes. I guess it makes sense. Moderna is going to do. Moderna looks really expensive. Like basically, the COVID vaccine is done. I should write a Substack about it. Citadel does not seem similar to FTX, no. Very, very, very different companies. Citadel's not an exchange or anything like that. 
Um, they have separate companies, both of which are profitable, whereas FTX is a little, a little bit different. Anyway, um, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Sorry I couldn't entertain you anymore. Um, I'm just going to kind of just sit back and relax. I'll see you all soon.